James unveiled his radical new propulsion system. Look at this. Batteries, as before, but a few more of them for extra power. But here's the clever bit. They are recharged by that. That is a diesel generator. That charges the batteries? Yeah. Hang on, is that a generator just from a shop? Yeah. So we've made a hybrid. Yes, well, no, well, no, well, no, because a hybrid uses a normal engine that drives the wheels. A hybrid's a normal car for fools. Look, look, there will be opportunity, look. I'm sure, for me to demonstrate <laughs> the way this works. I've taken inspiration from the American motorhomes that slide out at the sides. Have you? So this, yeah. <laughs> so this gets bigger. How, How does, does it, it get, get bigger? bigger? A lot bigger, you'll see. Is this his motorhome? I don't believe that that, that is outrageous. Come in, dude, come in. This is the, uh, the bed. Forms a sense. Yeah, sorry, that can happen. Sorry, sorry. I'll give you a quick squiz round if you like. Yeah, sure. Uh, this is the library here. Then, thank you. So you've got a library. Library. Uh, this is the dining room. Goes the waiting on. Look at dining room that. furniture. Bloody In Lord. here, this. Oh, yeah. mind that. Yeah. Sorry. Step into your car, and here, if you look, is a shower. In your car. Yep. Well, where do you get the water from then? It comes from the cool box in the back. This tube, and then you just plug this into the cigarette lighter, hit that button, refreshing shower. I bet you're jealous. OK, like but um. this is my genius. At some point on this trip, Hammond's Bombay doors are going to break, we know that. We're going to be stuck in the middle of nowhere, and he is going to beg me for use of this. And what I've done in there... Is yeah, what I... No, there's like an ice bucket. You fill it up with chemicals. This is the best thing I've ever seen fitted to a car in India. Everybody who comes here gets the trots. Yeah, no, I... you... what? no, it's very good. The thinking is terrific. Soon the engine became so hot, I had to get radical. The scope of my engineering genius literally knows no bounds. Because, as you can see, the vents I cut in the bonnet are no windows. So I can see where I'm going, the engine is cool, all is well. Clever, this. What I'm going to do is let about 30% of the pressure out of the tyres. Point is, it increases rolling resistance, which means I use more fuel. I pulled over to disable my engine management system. How about that look? Engine warning light, yes, that's what we want. So what the engine has to do now is assume a sort of worst case scenario because it doesn't know anything about itself. So it'll assume it's very cold, the fuel quality is bad. In the front, gentlemen, we find here, instead of a passenger seat... Oh, so you have thought of sustenance. Oh, that's good. Full of that's beer. good. And it runs off the cigarette lighter in the car. That's a tradable commodity you've got there. It is. But something even more useful than beer. No, actually, no. Nearly as useful as beer is what I've fitted over here. A shower. And if we peel back the curtain... Oh, it's a complete bathroom in there. Oh, yeah. So, you lower this window... Well, it lowers it automatically. It's not going... No, hang on. Yes, it does, but... I made an interesting modification to my car. Yesterday, I discovered hill starts were very difficult. I can't ride the clutch because of the throttle problem, and I can't use the handbrake because it's broken. So what I've done is fitted this log at the back. You tow it along normally, but then when you want to start on a hill, you let the car roll back onto it, use it as a wedge, and set off easily. It's simple, it's elegant, it's brilliant. Roll back. The wooden handbrake is holding me, I simply set off. Sometimes my genius is... It's almost frightening. What I've done here is I have turned one of the most dreary driving experiences in the world into one of the best. I honestly believe that sometimes my genius... It generates gravity. He's not there, is he? In a few minutes, Hammond would arrive and see my quad ski moored alongside the hotel's jetty. Damn and blast, I'm gonna win this. But then, I spotted a hidey hole. Yes! Sometimes I stagger even myself with my genius. Are you shuffling the wheel properly? Yeah. <laughs> These are lovely crashes. 
no damage whatsoever to any vehicle in this car park. Now, Jeremy, can I ask a question? Can you remember where we parked our car? No, Richard, I can't. <laughs> this is a common problem, and not just for the elderly, which is why you may have noticed on top of our car was a box. In that box is a special feature that I can activate if I press this button on the key fob. There it is. You see, this activates a flare, and we now know to head in that direction. And that's why, if I press this button... Mm -hmm. You see? So it's brilliant. The flare guides us to the rough position, and the balloon takes us to the precise location of the car. Yes! Accelerate. Decelerate. Sometimes, if you listen very carefully, you can hear my genius. Take the prong out, because on this side, on this tailpipe, I've modified it. Got tubes feeding into this Apollo 13 homemade filter, which is... Uh, it's full of lime soda crystals, which they use to absorb the carbon dioxide in those huge Australian mines, OK? So, we're going to pop the prong in the top, because, as you can see, the gas is going down there, through the crystals, out of here. Let's just have a look how much carbon dioxide that's producing. It's none. What? Nothing? None? Absolutely no carbon dioxide is coming out of that car. Of course, another advantage is you don't have to do any of that annoying pedalling. Again, my genius is staggering me. It really is. Oh, dear, I'm out of fuel. I've run out of fuel. That, that's what's happened now. Damn. Think of it, really, as a hybrid. Lower them like this, so they're like the sort of stabilisers on a child's bicycle, and uh, that should give me more... Um, 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 Stability. Yes, that didn't. It Every did. time you got to a low bridge, your mast was... That did ah. happen. Now I have a collapsible mast, and I have a spinnaker, and I also have a keel come centreboard. How do you get that stability. underneath it? You drop it down through the slot like you do on a dinghy. That's a whopper. <laughs> ah, you cannot even begin to comprehend the bounds of my forthcoming genius. No one ever said that the two ends of a stretch limo had to come from the same car. Hang on. Uh... Now, that, that I didn't expect. I'm confused. Well, can I just explain? It's all about choice, OK? At the front, it's a sensible Swedish Saab 9000, and at the front, it's a sporty and stylish Italian Alfa Romeo. It's still a three-wheeler. You still only pay motorcycle tax, but now, thanks to these stabilisers, it can't roll over anymore. This is brilliant. Oh, I see! What, behind this? Seriously? Behold. Tow bar, yeah, I see. So this is your trailer? That's my trailer. Yeah. Shower. It's got a shower. Yeah. Where's the water come from? Ha-ha! Ha-ha, <laughs> yourself. There is, up the top, a reservoir. About so big. On my viewing gallery. Gazing Hammond, it's a bucket. It's a... It's, it's a, a bucket. It's a remote reservoir. It's, and that is right now collecting beautiful, crisp, clean, fresh, invigorating rainwater. 